So, once again, YouTube has made a mess of... I feel like YouTube's fucking up more and more this year. How many times have they fucked up? I mean, they've made so many cock-ups. It's fucking ridiculous. And now... This. With Wolfie Chew. Let me read it. My live stream today was abruptly ended by YouTube and my account has been blocked from live streaming. They emailed me and told me that it is because I am under the age of 13. I am in my 20s, trying to get this fixed, but I am very upset. What the f- Even I can tell. I'll be perfectly honest, I don't watch many of Wolfie Chew's videos. I don't, in all honesty, I've only- I think I've, like, seen only three of her videos. No. No, four. Counting the face reveal video. But I am subscribed to her. And I follow her on Twitter. This is... It's, it's ridiculous. Even I know she's over 20 years old. I just realized how that sounded. That That's wrong. I know she's over 18. I mean, she may sound like a kid. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Her... She does have... Her voice does sound like that, and, and honestly, it does make her very, very cute. But she is not under 13. She's not. I mean, I'm pretty sure if she was under the age of 13, she wouldn't be able to travel from wherever the hell it was in America she lived in to fly all the way down to Australia to live with her boyfriend, who they now share a puppy with. Pretty sure that probably wouldn't happen, most likely. And the fact that it abruptly ended... I mean, that must have sucked. Not just for her, but even for her fans. Fans like, what did you end up saying? What's the What's good about this, however, is the fact that YouTube did message back. Sorry for the frustration. We'll pass this along and get back to you when we know more. Appreciate your patience in the meantime. You know what would have prevented this frustration? If you guys were actually bloody competent. Which you're not. You're anything but but competent. So that you've fucked up so many times. I mean, one of your biggest fuck-ups was copper. That was one of your biggest screw-ups. We effectively forced people to say whether or not their videos are made for kids. Personally, that can fuck off. If you want more info on that video, like, I already made a video talking about the whole copper shit, as have other people. So just Google that. And for me, perfectly honest, someone better at explaining it would be Nerd Cubed. But, Copper was a big screw up. And this year, ever since Susie Lou got brought up, we have, one, been t revealed that you helped reinstate her channel after it got legitimately taken down. You don't pay attention to videos that are criticizing, you guys are shit at running your own web I could run your website better. And I wouldn't know what the fuck I'd be doing. I'd be more clueless at running YouTube than Donald Trump is running America. That's how clueless I would be. This is just absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe YouTube would do this. I cannot believe y YouTube... Oh, fuck sakes. You wanna know what I think of 2020? I feel like 2020 is the year everything went to hell. That's what I think. It also doesn't help the fact that YouTube is now using bots to moderate, moderate their site. And... Using, they're using more bots than humans which is a major issue because bots in this type of situation, let's be fair, are complete morons. These bots are... 
They're about as stupid as a battle droid. Okay? That's their level of stupidity. They don't know anything. They don't know what they're doing. They might as well be a toddler in kindergarten eating out of the toilet. This... I just cannot believe. There's been so many stupid crap going on on YouTube. And this... It's ridiculous. It kind of makes me go... What's the fucking point? What's the point of being on YouTube when the people that work at YouTube are so bloody incompetent that this happens? I mean, granted, they saw this tweet and are doing something about it, which, brilliant. Congrats, YouTube. You better hurry up. But it's the fact it happened in the first place. That's the problem I'm having. It's the fact that it happened in the first place. That bird is really irritating. I'm sorry. It fucking is. I have no clue if Wolfie Chu is ever going to see this video. I really have no clue. But if Wolfie Chu somehow does manage to come across this video, I... For one, I am truly sorry that happened to you. Um, number two, I really hope this crap got sorted out. And three, I wish you and Jordan all the best with your stuff. With what you're doing on YouTube and with your own lives. I wish the both of you 100% the best. Because you both are amazing content creators, and that's basically all I've got to say. Um, check out Wolfie Chu, who, link to her channel will be in the description below. I'll also link her boyfriend, Jordan Sweeto. And YouTube, if you are watching this video, please work on your site. Please work on your site. Make it better. This is not helpful. This is just irritating. Please fix it. Side note, yes, I am very much aware this is a very short video. That's kind of the point. I don't want this to be stupidly long. This is just a little thing I wanted to point out there. Because I... I mean, let me point out, I just got home. And I spotted this. So... I, I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't. So, I just thought, little video to talk about it. We're good to go. Um, what am I going to do now? I'm going to go record a Game Detective video for you guys. When when that will be out, I have no clue because I'm going to I'm having to jump between two games to do it. Uh, I really hope you enjoy the Game Detective video as well. Um, yeah, take care.